Today I am making this video from my mom's house, where I sometimes work. Um, this is going to be another installment of Lion Shapes While I Read to You. It's going to be a variation in which you will actually sort of roam through shapes while I read to you. Um, and I think it's going to be good. But before I start, I'm going to have a little introduction. So, recently I posted a response to a moaning video that I um, put up on the YouTubes last summer. I put it up because I was just starting the Grief House project and I wanted to have it on the, the like little baby website I was building. Um, and the website, you know, people, like the website thing said I needed to store it on YouTube. So I stored it on YouTube. Um, and I didn't, I just assumed no one would look at it. I figured the only people who saw it would be the people I like invited to the website. Um, and, and who, and those are people who already like me, you know, who like, and are interested in the project and are like sold on, on the idea of making a space where we can have feelings and express them, um, and express them, uh, in a range of different ways and not have to feel afraid of what will, what comes after that. But that is not what happened. <laughs> uh, what happened is that I called it a minute of moaning. And so it, it came up on a lot of people's search results, um, like in the wee hours of the morning. And a lot of people who found it were, were not looking for it and felt pretty disappointed um, in what they found. <sighs> And uh, some of those people, I think, in their um, start in their state of startled disappointment, uh, did a, a really superhuman thing, which is um, to kind of de defend themselves against the this thing that took them by surprise. Um, and I think that is, and particularly when you're feeling maybe a little bit vulnerable and a little bit unsure of yourself, I think that's just like, that's just what mammals do. We um, want to deflect uh, aggression. So it's one way to do it is to, is to focus it on something else. This is, and it's actually a very benign way, I think, of protecting the sort of, of protecting yourself to sort of make fun of something, um, you know, altogether, um, or, or it can be benign. Sometimes it is not at all benign. In this case, it was mostly benign. Um, and so I'm in this video in which I talked about how, um, I talked about the project and how, um, one of the things that's really wonderful about it is that the more and more I feel like I have a community that I can trust um, with my tender parts, with my vulnerable, um, sort of injured parts, um, the less afraid I am of, of um, the teasing or, or like the less limited I am by my fear of a negative, of some people's negative reception of me. And I, and I wanted to sort of welcome people, encourage if they, you know, welcome people to try that out if that was a thing that they felt like they might want to try out. Um, but then, you know, I had this email notifications for comments and it's just like more and more. And um, I discovered that I was becoming like, uh, like dread, full of dread. Like I was like, oh God, oh God another YouTube comment, um, and reading them feels bad. <laughs> um, and like, I turned them off. I turned the notifications off cause I didn't, I just couldn't have it on my phone. Um, and, and then I was like, God, am I, am I like faking it? Like that video where I'm like, Oh, but if you have a community, then you feel safe. And, you know, you, we can, like, be who we are in the world and come, come, do this with me, this thing I'm doing. 
like but am I lying because look I'm like all mm, all like hurt feelings and like protective huddle um and upon reflection what I've discovered is I am not lying I am both of those things I am a mammal like all of us and when there's evidence that a group of humans doesn't like me I feel scared um evolution you know that's like deep inside of us of me also I feel bolstered and supported by uh love is a big word but I'll just use it here by by the love by love even when it's coming from people I've never seen um and I personally feel like my life I am fortunate enough that I have more of that than the other thing so I can make this video um but I, I also think it feels really helpful to recognize that I'm many things. I'm, I'm opposing things simultaneously. Um, and I, I think maybe you are too. I think maybe that's just the deal. That's just what this is about. So after six minutes, um, I will tell you what my idea is for today. I thought that we could try doing, doing many things at once. Um, and the things I have in mind are moving, and looking at your body as you move um, and recognizing that you have a body, feeling and noticing your feelings and listening to me read and having thoughts. So um, those three things at once. Um, and my idea about all of them is that to the extent that it's possible, I'd love to try doing it like, if, like bringing, your, bringing kids you're taking care of to a park. Like if you have a whole group of kids and you're you're like I'm bringing them to that to that like play place where there's a, like responsible adults who will watch out for them and you drop them off and then you sit on a bench and you like watch them and you probably have thoughts and feelings about them you're like holy cow like somebody needs to like look at what that guy's doing like that's a recipe for disaster but it's not my job to do anything about it you know you're like ooh that doesn't look like it's going anywhere good but. I don't have to work. It's like, this isn't, it isn't my job right now. Someone's going to catch, like, someone will catch it. It's not my job. And, like, great things. Like, oh, my God, look what that guy's doing. Like, she's doing something. That's the most beautiful and creative play I've ever seen in my life. Not my job. Not my job to keep it going. Not my job to stop it. Like that with your feelings. And with your body. And with my words. Just all the things. And you just say yes. Um, shall I demo? I'll do a little demonstration of what I mean by, by like the physical part. I can't really demonstrate the, you know, but the physical part. Ready? Like so. Lie down. We'll find a place where you can lie down. So it could be your bed. It could be the floor. Um, or a couch, you know, surfaces you can lie down on. I'm sure that you can list them as well as I can. I'm sure. Probably. I think so. Like this. And then just... Movie. I'm looking at you, or I just did look at you, but you are going to look at yourself. And you're just going to, like, look at yourself, like, notice your foot. And just not, like, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to fix, it's not like, oh, why can't that foot do what I want it to do? It's just, it's really literally just kids in a play structure. Okay, let's try. Nine minutes in. And then I'm going to read to you from this book. And it's the Tao, which I will admit, I, I never understand the Tao. This one that I've chosen, I think I understand a little bit, but the Tao is like fully mysterious to me. So if you understand this, if you're like, oh, that is, I have a deep insight into the meaning of that writing, you could leave a comment on this video. If you promise to leave comments, I would consider turning notifications back on, but for now, I don't think I can go that far. Okay. Let's give it a try. Have a lie down and start to move. Just, just 
Move your arms and move your legs. You can move many things at once. You can move your fingers and your head. Keep your body in your sight. For this time, don't close your eyes. Just notice your body. And then notice your feelings. And the big ones often show up first. But you don't have to do anything with them. So watch them for a little bit and then look around for more. Your body and your feelings inside that body and your brain. Listening to me. No masculinity. Maintain femininity. And be a ravine for all under heaven. By being a ravine for all under heaven, eternal integrity will never desert you. If internal integrity never deserts you, you will return to the state of infancy. Know you are innocent, remain steadfast when insulted, and be a valley for all under heaven. By being a valley for all under heaven, eternal integrity will suffice. If internal integrity suffices, you will return to the simplicity of the unhewn log. No whiteness, maintain blackness, and be a model for all under heaven. By being a model for all under heaven, internal integrity will not err. If internal integrity does not err, you will return to infinity. When the unhewn log is sawn apart, it is made into tools. When the sage is put to use, he becomes the chief of officials for great carving does no cutting. No masculinity, maintain femininity, and be a ravine for all under heaven. By being a ravine for all under heaven, eternal integrity will never desert you. If internal integrity never deserts you, you will return to the state of infancy. Know you are innocent, remain steadfast when insulted, and be a valley for all under heaven. By being a valley for all under heaven, eternal integrity will suffice. If inter eternal integrity suffices, you will return to the simplicity of the unhewn log. No whiteness, maintain blackness, and be a model for all under heaven. By being a model for all under heaven, eternal integrity will not err. If, internal, if in eternal integrity does not err, you will return to infinity. When the unhewn log is sawn apart, it is made into tools. When the sage is put to use, he becomes the chief of officials for great carving, does no cutting. <sighs> okay. Here are many things and many things. I'm glad to know you. I'd like to see as many as you'd like to show me. I'm happy we're doing this together.